Scientists can change the DNA of certain living things through genetic engineering. With bacteria, researchers can use viruses that change the DNA in the bacteria around. In plants, they might literally shoot the genes into them. This is called bioballistics. First, they coat tiny gold particles with the DNA that they want to have in the plant. Let's just say we had a plant with red flowers and we knew the genes for flower color. We can find out if we can change them. So we'll need a gene gun. Basically, it's a box that has a door on it and an air tank to pressurize and launch those DNA particles like an air gun. So we load that plant into the gene gun and now we can shoot those particles into the plant cell. Hopefully the particles land in the nucleus and the DNA on them is taken up into the plant's own DNA. But gene guns aren't perfect. The particles might miss the nucleus or the DNA just might not stick. Or you might just kill the plant cell. But if it does work, we can maybe regenerate that plant from the tissue and it would have the new genetic trait. Like in our example, it would be the new flower color. There are other methods to genetically engineer organisms like plants, but gene guns are definitely one of the strangest ones.